Today was the last day for early voting, and now we're just days away from our special election. And there's uh, one race in northwest Georgia that's getting a lot of attention tonight, folks. It's the Republican runoff in Georgia's 14th congressional district between neurosurgeon John Cowan and businesswoman Marjorie Green. Green has been criticized lately for her controversial social media post about race and religion. And some of our viewers out there are asking if Green is a follower of QAnon. Many right-wing conservatives believe that QAnon or Q is an anonymous person secretly protecting President Trump from a shadowy network of people trying to take him down. So does Canada Green still support that conspiracy theory? We verify. Our sources for this verify comes from NBC News, the FBI, and Marjorie Greene's own remarks during an Atlanta Press Club debate in July. All Americans, we are very aware of the fact of an existence of the deep state. Yes or no, are you a follower of QAnon? So before we even get into her answer, let's give you some background on what QAnon even is. It's a conspiracy theory that surfaced in 2017 on the 4chan website and spread to Reddit. In an FBI document obtained by NBC News that was sent as an intelligence bulletin to other law enforcement agencies, the FBI describes QAnon supporters as believing they are following an anonymous government insider leaking classified information online about covert plans targeting Trump's presidency. But the FBI warns in the document throughout history, such conspiracy theories have fueled prejudice, witch hunts, genocide, and acts of terrorism. NBC News has reported QAnon is a convoluted conspiracy theory that has no apparent foundation in reality. Yes or no, are you a follower of QAnon? I, like many Americans, are disgusted with the deep state who've launched an effort to, to get rid of President Trump. We saw it launch straight from Barack Obama's White House. I'm Marjorie Green. Green doesn't give a direct answer, and I reached out several times this week to ask her to clarify her position. But based on her answer during the debate, we can verify she at least is giving credibility to the QAnon claims.